The next story is actually my favorite story because that only happened like just recently. There's the drawing. Exhibit three. Yes. And so this is the story. This place, Kadanya or Kaidan, as it was called, is in the dead center of Lithuania. Also had a yeshiva, famous for the fact that the Vilna Gaon studied there and a lot of his disciples stemmed from there. Okay. And that's me with a group of school kids. So you can say, how'd you link the two? So that's the story. That's the teacher next to me on the right. The rest are 16, 17 year old Lithuanians um, who are learning English from that day. She's teaching me English. Okay. And this girl says, I've got to play. She's lovely. Victoria. She's just thanking me. This is Kayla. So the interesting thing as well is the family today is Salomon, and his grandson, not on my line, was uh, your Moshe, who founded Petrach Tikva, and his current family, I think his name was Horowitz Ohms Teva, the biggest generic pharmaceutical company in the world. Okay, so it's a big family today, and I'm just your little Aussie representative. Uh, if you went to Jerusalem years ago, you would have seen that dome, okay, which is now the shul. That's the shul. I keep pointing out, thinking that you can see, but that's what the show looks like. Beautiful. We've got to go on a tour of it. I get a commission. Um, and so what you do is you go to the Mount of Olives where there's over 100,000 people buried, and his, uh, and his wife's is not their actual tombstones, because the Jordanians bulldoze that part of it, but it's in the valley at the very bottom. He's very famous. And he was the first modern, according to Bibi, the first modern day, uh, modern day martyr in Israel because he was assassinated in 1855 or something by Arabs, okay? And that's inside the shul, beautiful shul, okay? Um, now, the story is, that's fine, I investigate him. I do videos in Perth as well, let me mention it. Besides the larger, I do Simca videos. And this is actually a Simca video, which I'll play you half a second of, so you can believe me. It was done at an Orthodox wedding, it's on YouTube, okay? So there it is there. You see, it's an Orthodox wedding, Kupa, outdoors in a wine estate, lovely weather. That's how we have our weddings in Perth. Okay? Cool. So what happened there was that the bride asked me to put it on YouTube, which I did. And then I get this YouTube message a few days afterwards saying, can I use, have your permission to use it in our project from a person called Lama. Didn't know which, who it was, where it was from, etc. So I wrote back to her and I said, where are you from? And she says to me, I'm from a place called um, Kaidan. I, I can't read this, but she said that, you've probably never heard of the place. I'm an English high school teacher. I'm teaching kids English, but I'm using the Holocaust as the context. Okay? But I also want modern day Jewish traditional stuff, like weddings, to show the kids how Jews live today. Can you imagine these kids, 17 year olds, living in a town, no Jews, no Jews whatsoever. Sometimes visitors come in, but that town was 50% Jewish in 1935. Okay, so this teacher grew up, she told me, I was there last week, in the Soviet time when the Holocaust wasn't mentioned. So we can also thank the Soviets for the fact that a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff was stuffed up because of them, as much as the Nazis. Okay, so she's doing her thing as part of a program to to revitalize that. So, and these are some of her projects: cultural diversity. And if you go in there, you see people, Jewish people who are rooted, she calls it rooted or connected to this place. Are we going for time? Are we over time? Yes. Uh, we, we have to have time. Okay. So this is Kedan or Kedanya today. And I, this is the last thing I want to read to you because this is the end. I haven't even shown you how my blog looks, but if you go to go to social media. Dear Eli, this is from that girl that gave me that little presentation after I met her. 